big mid lane matchup, Faker versus Chovy. Emily, let's stick with you. Uh, let's preview that matchup, T1 and Dragon X. If Dragon X is a summer team, are T1 going to steamroll them? Uh, no, I mean, I don't think they're going to steamroll them. I do think that it's going to come down to a few things. The top lane matchup is going to be super important. Um, and then also where the junglers, like the mid jungle synergy is going to be super important. And I think where, again, I keep like dishing out praise for Chovy, but I think he's improved a lot out of lane going into this season. And it, it's really paid off this split. Um, so, and, and Pioshek is a, a, a new jungler who is obviously very smart and very talented, but also, again, uh, because of inexperience sometimes makes, you know, some, some poor choices. So... Uh, I'm looking at mid jungle, but I'm also specifically looking at how they play uh, top side. Um, Cause I think the, the bot lanes can go toe to toe with each other. I think Caria uh, is probably going to be the standout in that matchup. So if it does come down to both teams playing bot side, I'm curious to see how Caria can not only facilitate lane, but also uh, get out and roam for mid as well. Tyler, what are your thoughts on this matchup? I think, again, I, I do think it comes down, obviously the bot lane probably go 50-50. I'm, I'm curious how top lane will go with the two rookies who I both have question marks about. But really, I think, obviously, the matchup everyone's looking at is Faker versus Chovy. Uh, Chovy getting a lot of the praise of, is he the next Faker? Just like BD and Rookie and all and you call all before him. I think right now there's no... If you're going to take a mid laner in a 1v1 matchup right now, just laning phase, I don't think there's any player on the planet you pick other than Chovy. I think Chovy right now is playing by he's playing the best all around game of his career. I think he's really grown on Dragon X. And I think it really will come to the mid jungle synergy. I think T1 have an advantage there. I think uh Faker and Cuz are very much in sync currently. So if it comes to a 2v2 matchup, I would give the edge to T1. Mm -hmm. Now I want to see how Chovy reacts to this matchup because Unlike BDD, BDD's beaten Faker in a final. BDD looks good when he plays against Faker. Chovy sometimes has looked very amateurish when facing against Faker. You can see the nerves are definitely on his side. If you watch some of those Griffin versus uh, SKT finals, Chovy does not look like the same player he was in the regular season. So I really want to see Chovy play confident. I want him to show that he is the MVP of the league because I think right now Chovy is in discussion for MVP. And I want to see him beat faker and show his true form instead of looking like you know a, a fanboy playing against his idol which he has been in previous matchups jacob before we move off the lck flashy's asking was losing clit a loss for t1 i don't think so i think to tower's point earlier that that they the swap right of clit and cuz makes a lot of sense for both of these teams I think that the thing is, is like Faker is one of those players that he he's so mechanically gifted and he's such a like he is the team leader and veteran in this team that you just sort of need to support that more than you need to carry that on your own. Right. And I think that Cuz mm. has done quite a good job at that. And so I, I think that the change of play style is probably better for T1 overall. And and so I think that and I think, like I said earlier, I think both parties, Clid and Cuz are better off uh, or like Tyler said earlier, are better off on the other side that they're on at this point.